The 67 Dodge featured clean styling and plenty of power, and the Coronet RT440 is long on both. There's some very interesting styling details all over this 67 Coronet. It's interesting to see that the Coronet name doesn't really appear on the outside of the car anywhere. You've got some block Dodge letters on the hood and an RT badge in the grille. There's RT badges on the sides of the car and the rear has a very large RT badge on the right hand side of the deck lid. Uh, the design feature on the back of the car is interesting. They've got a full width rectangular shaped piece of trim that surrounds the taillights which have a very detailed and intricate vertical rib pattern. It goes from one side to the other and these ribs are placed maybe only a quarter inch apart and you could just barely see the red lenses through those. Uh, there's Dodge block letters on the deck lid and the license plate is flanked by the reverse lights. That very fine plated vertical detail is again present on the nose of the car. This time the headlight surrounds and the grille demonstrate that intricate vertical pattern going the whole width and the whole nose is surrounded once again by another rectangular plated trim piece. The turn signals are mounted in the bumper the same way the reverse lights are mounted in the rear bumper. This car is basically a big Dodge box, but the stylist put in a few tricks to make it look kind of aggressive. You've got this cove recess here on both sides with a body line up the middle. There's kind of a speedy looking relief behind the door. And up on the hood, there's an interesting set of louvers that are recessed into this little cove. Unfortunately, it's not a true functional piece, but it does a great job of breaking up what would be uh, you know, basically a giant flat land mass of steel in that coronet hood. One of the things I really like about this particular car is the color scheme. Uh, it is painted in medium bright blue and it's got the white top and white interior and there's some red details, namely in the RT badges and the red line on the tires. And when you step back and look at the bright work and the blue paint, the white top and that red line and red letters, it almost gives it kind of an American patriotic color scheme. It looks very, very classy, uh, but still looks aggressive with the chrome-plated Magnum 500 wheels. The base Coronet model came with an angry 145 horsepower Slant 6, but when you bump up to the RT models, you've got a 440 Magnum that made 375 horsepower, and it's connected to a Torque Flight 727 automatic trans. Much better combination for the road and track component. Although, you could get a 426 Hemi in this. 1967 was the first year they called the 440 engine the Magnum. Uh, in this car, the 440 Magnum is the base engine for the RT Coronet. And these 440s were really high performers. Uh, these things were rated at 375 horsepower at 4,600 RPM, 480 foot-pounds of torque at 3,200 RPM. They're a 10 to 1 compression engine. Ours is coupled to the automatic Torque Flight 727 transmission. Other high performance elements of the 440 cubic inch Magnum V8 include a four barrel carburetor, a long duration camshaft, and free flowing dual exhaust. And those chrome valve covers came with this car from the factory as part of a, uh, an engine dress up kit to make that 440 Magnum really stand tall when you open the hood. And today we look at this thing as kind of a, a big cruiser. But back in the day, Superstock Magazine said this was one of the best all-around performance packages being offered with as much or more performance per dollar than any other car currently available. Uh, so they really liked it. And the advertisements for the RT actually had the words road and track spelled out below the R and the T and they depicted this car spinning the tires and at the drag strip uh, with a driver with a helmet, you know. So it was purely marketed as a high performance vehicle. Dodge used the 1967 Coronet to launch the RT line, which stood for road and track, suggesting this car was meant to be driven hard. And although the Coronet was a high-end luxury car in the 50s, Dodge positioned these as kind of a midline car in the 60s, 
but this one is still pretty fancy. Inviting and rectangular are two words I would use to describe the interior and dashboard of a 67 Dodge Coronet RT. Uh, this one has a white interior and that rectangular design theme is all over the place. When you look at the dashboard, uh, the gauge panel is surrounded by a rectangle that is uh, of a bright silver color and there is a smaller rectangular pattern embossed in black across the whole dash panel as well. And all the gauges are surrounded by the bright rectangle and they're all rectangular shape. On the left side you've got the fuel gauge and below that is our temperature gauge for engine temp. In the middle is a very wide 150 mile an hour speedometer. Very cool to see such a high speed speedometer in a big car like this. Um, this one is showing just shy of 100,000 miles which means this car was driven quite a lot and people had a really good time with it. Uh, the indicator lights below that are also rectangular in shape. To the right we've got our D and C on the alternator gauge representing charge and discharge and below that is where the clock would live. This one actually has a clock delete but they leave the crosshairs and the tick marks as if it was a clock and if you look closely you can see the hole where the adjusting knob would come through. Uh, and then to the right of that We've got the factory installed AM radio with its push buttons below and the two knobs. And above that, it looks like they almost tried to hide the heater controls because those didn't get the big shiny rectangle. Those are just uh, raised letters that are done in silver on top of that rectangular grid pattern. These cars could be had with an automatic three-speed transmission like ours does. It's a Torque Flight 727, very high performance, strong transmission. Uh, or you could get the four speed manual, but both of them used a full length center console with the shifter coming up through the middle. It's a very attractive piece with a lot of bright work on it. Passengers going along for the ride in this Coronet get to sit in a pair of white bucket front seats or a full width rear seat, which goes well with the white power convertible top. It's big and stylish, and with that 440, it's definitely not a slow ride. You can see more on our website, and we'll see you next time on Muscle Car of the Week.